going to begin by making this really sort of simple box style crate that has got these grooves along each side and these cut out handles. And the pieces you'll need for this I've done as a sort of template which I'll show you now. So once you've cut out your pieces you just want to very gently sand the edge of each piece and to do that just go in one direction along the sandpaper don't go back and forth as you'll round the edges and just do that on each edge and then we're going to begin by making um, the grooves so take each piece and just make a measurement six millimeters or quarter of an inch from each long edge so six millimeters there and six there and six and six again and then turn the piece round and just put your ruler so it's just below that pencil mark you've just made and then we're going to use a flat head, uh, flat head screwdriver on just the very edge and you just want to score into the wood going along the side of the ruler and just do that two or three times, you don't need to press too hard turn the piece around and then do that again so the ruler's just below those pencil marks just to account for the thickness of the screwdriver Again, two or three like that, and then take a small piece of sandpaper, and I have lots of small pieces sort of already in a in a crate, so they come in handy. Fold it in half and crease along like that, and then you just want to work that along each groove just to smooth the edges and make it slightly deeper. And the other edge as well and then I've done that to all pieces and the same measurements on each piece six millimeters from either edge or quarter of an inch from either edge we're now going to make the hole um, for the handle so just take the side piece and just make a pencil mark in the center of that top section so just a faint pencil mark there and then I'm going to use this mini drill and that's got a 1.5 millimeter or 1 16th of an inch drill bit in there and you just want to make a hole just to the side of that line that you've just made so just to the side of the center once you're through the wood will start to twist and then just to the other side of that line And then you just want to drill through that central piece that's left there. And just keep placing the drill until you've gone completely through. There. Poke that middle bit free. Like that. And then just take a tiny piece of uh, sandpaper and just fold it into a sort of really tiny little strip that will fit through that hole. Just one tiny little piece and then just work that through just to smooth off the edges of that handle. Nice oval handle there, and then do the same on the other side. We're now going to construct the piece. So begin by applying glue um, along each short edge of the base piece. And I've just dispensed some glue here onto a piece of card, and I'm using a cocktail stick to apply it. Like so. And then that. And then you want to attach the pieces so that the grooved sides are obviously facing outwards. So just press.
press that against the base and then the other side and then just put that piece to one side to dry um, otherwise it will just fall apart when you try to attach the front and back and I've got a piece here that I made earlier so it's nice and dry and then you want to apply the glue along the front and back edges Again with the grooves facing outwards, just attach those pieces keeping the sides square. If you've got any pieces that aren't quite flush, you can, we can sand it once the glue is completely dry. So once the glue has fully dried, you just want to sand the box on all edges, um, just to make sure it's completely flush. So hold it against the sandpaper and just go round in circular motions on the top and the bottom. And then on each side, just go in one direction again, across the sandpaper like so. And you might want it to look really rustic, so you might not want to sand it. Um, but if you do, it makes a nice sort of flush finish. And then just as a little finishing touch, take, um, this is called a scribe, this is actually an old um, electrical tool for wiring dolls houses, but it's got a nice pointed tip. And that's what we want for this and we're just going to make some nail holes so just press that in at e each end of the front and back and I'm just doing two nail holes here in each section it's just a nice little finishing touch and do that on both sides And then to finish your piece, this I used um, a normal sort of household wood stain. Or of course you could just leave it as it is. Or another way um, to colour the piece is to use shoe polish. I've got this nice sort of dark brown here. It's been well used as you can see. And just take a piece of um, kitchen towel. And just work in circular motions onto the crate. Use your nail to sort of get it into the grooves. And this just gives it a really sort of light wood finish. Just do a light coat to start and then if you want it darker you just go round again. This is good if you want to sort of use it for a sort of rustic scene. Maybe a farmyard or something like that. I'll just give this a light coat just to show you that just keep working it into the wood. Put more in places to make it look sort of uneven. And do the inside as well. Use a cocktail stick if it gets into the handles like that, just to get that out of there. And that's just another way of, of finishing the piece.
You might want to use it just to add some sort of dirty patches to your natural wood one. Or of course you could paint them, it's up to you. The next crate I'm going to show you how to make is this vegetable storage crate with handles. And again, I've done the cutting list um, up as a template, shown in millimetres and inches, and that's coming up now. So once you've cut all of your pieces, again, you just want to sand each edge of each piece by just sweeping it across the sandpaper in one direction. And then I've just dispensed some glue here onto a piece of card. I'm using a cocktail stick to apply it. I just want to apply glue along each short edge of the base piece. I'm going to attach the side pieces first. Just press that into place. And then the other side. And then just put that to one side um, until the glue has dried, otherwise it'll just fall apart when we try to attach the front and back. And I've got one here that I did earlier, so that's nice and solid now. And then you just want to apply glue along the front and back. Attach the front and back pieces. And you can just press that together. And again, that can just be put to one side until the glue is completely dried, and then we'll sand it to make it nice and flush. So the box is now completely dry and I'm going to sand it on all edges to make it into a nice flush box. So hold it against the sandpaper and just go around in circular motions. And on the bottom as well. And then to do the sides you just want to go across the sandpaper in one direction. And then just want to apply a little bit of glue into each inside corner. I'll just do it in two of the corners to start with. Like that. And then take the corner post and just want to push that into the corner there so that the flatter or the sorry the wider edge is facing towards the front of the box and you can use tweezers to do this if you can't quite get hold of that piece <laughs> that one as well and then I just take a spare scrap of wood this is a 5x5 five five strip and then just push it in there like that and against that strip and it, it just pushes it upright flat against the edge of the box the other side as well so I'm just pressing against the side of the piece and then flat against it as well like that and then we want to do the other side apply Pop of glue in the corner.
and then just move any excess glue especially if you're going to varnish the piece because varnish won't take over glue and then normally I'd say let that dry but we want these to be at the edge of each handle so I'm going to do it just while it's the glue is still quite tacky and just apply a blob of glue on the top of each post and then you want to attach the handle and then you can just slightly manoeuvre the post so that they're at the end of each handle so that the handle is flush with each post that's why I suggest doing it while the glue on the corner post is still tacky because then you can still move them and just press that into place and then do the other side Oops. Is obviously still a bit too tacky. A bit more glue on that. And then once you've fitted that handle on, you can then just put that to one side to completely dry before we then sand and shape the handles. And I've got one here that I did earlier, so this is now nice and dry and solid. I'm just going to take another small scrap of um, sandpaper and I'm going to sand the edges of the handles. both sides and again if you want this to look really rustic and old then you can you don't have to sand you don't have to neaten them up you can just leave it looking old and then I'm going to round over the edges of these handles and again this is optional Same on that side. So I'm just sort of sweeping it over the edge. So I've rounded off all the corners on the handles and then just as a final finishing touch, again going to use the scribe, which is pointed end tool, and just make a couple of nail holes in each of the front and back pieces where the handles would would be nailed in Just go in like that not too don't have to go in too deep like that and then again this one I used um, household wood stain in an um, oak colour. You could just leave it um, natural like that if you wanted to. Or another idea, like I did with the first crate, is to stain it using shoe polish. And that just gives it a lighter sort of wood look. And you're just rubbing that in. And you, you can just keep doing coat after coat until you're happy with the colour. You might just want a, a nice light um, wood stain like that. And 
and do the inside as well. And you can use um, an earbud to get into these smaller places underneath and at the edges of the handles. Or again you can paint them or you could use the shoe polish to just to make some sort of dirty marks on the natural wood one if you wanted to use it for a rustic scene.